Okay, let's see how this goes. Hello everyone. So I was going to have a topic for this live stream, but then I checked my P.O. box and I've got a package from, I don't know if it's gonna focus on that or not, from Ascension Press. Right there, see? And I know what it is, so I wanted to share it with all of you. It's kind of like a mystery box because it didn't say on it. It's something that I was given for free. I was offered a chance to review it. And this is just the unboxing. I know I'm going to review it a lot better later in detail. So I'm gonna slice it open. I haven't even opened it at all yet. So you guys are getting the first few. I'm also trying something different with a different um, camera this time. So hopefully it's a little bit clearer than my live streams have been in the past. And like always, this live stream is brought to you by all my patrons on Patreon. We've got Eric, Catherine, and Cheryl. Thank you so much. If you'd like to know how to support me on Patreon, take a look at the link in the description. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Ooh. So in it, I have my packing slip. So I'm not gonna show you that because it has like my address and everything on it. And then there is this beautiful box. It's like just, be it's beautiful. And it's just the box because the pipe is on the inside. Like this is a box. And I am so excited to open it up and see it for the first time. Like I said, I was offered this as a review copy so that I can share it with all of you. I'm just unboxing it right now. I will do a more in-depth review once I've had a chance to look at it. But I was just so excited when I opened up my PO box and I saw that it had come. So this is it. I'm trying to the covers off now. It's a really pretty cover for that. And then this is the Bible. So it's a nice size Bible. It's got a blue cover, it looks like. I'm gonna carefully snip it open here so we can take a look at it. Okay, let's see what we've got. I hope this stream is working okay. I think my lives, my internet is having difficulties connecting, so I'm not sure how um, on top of the, this live stream is gonna be. So we'll try this. So anyway, this is the Bible. It's so pretty. It's such a pretty one. Okay, so it's got like the um, embossed cover there where it says the Great Adventure, Holy Bible, and on the side it tells you that it's the RSV, Second Catholic Edition. That's really cool. Oh, and there's two ribbons I can see hanging out in here. So we've got two ribbons, a yellow one and a red one. And then like, it's trying to show this to you guys. There's like all these colors here. These are the colors that correspond with the Great Adventure Bible series. Um, the study, if you've gone through the study, each um, book has is related to a certain section of the um, story, the or overall narrative of salvation. My internet is really low. I'm gonna switch webcams and see if that makes a difference. Cause I did, I was trying a new webcam today, but I think it's coming out a little bit difficult. Let's see. If I turn off that one and turn on, well, wrong one. Okay, there we go. So let's see if this works. I'll unplug that newer webcam. Okay, I just had, like I said, I'm sorry if we're having issues with the technology side of it. I got a different webcam I was gonna try today, but I think my internet connection isn't quite as um, capable of dealing with the slightly higher quality webcam. So we're down to the one that's on my computer usually. So as I was just saying, like this is a really nice cover. It's beautiful, isn't it? And it feels really super, super like high quality and sturdy. The leatherette cover on it is just beautiful. I love this. I'm gonna type in here. I'm so sorry if there's some issues with the stream quality. My internet connection seems to be real bad. My internet connection seems bad. I'm sorry. Let's try this again. Okay. Um. 
I don't want it to keep cutting out. Okay, my internet connection seems to be going back up, so maybe it was the new webcam that didn't like it very much. Might need to experiment with that, but I can see a higher connection right now. So let's see, is my internet connection working better with all of you? Is the live stream better? I think I got it to work. Okay, maybe not, okay. Who knows? My internet connection is ridiculous sometimes. Oh, please work, because I wanted to show you all of this. I am recording this though, like on my computer so that I can re-upload it if this upload doesn't work so well. Um, because it seems like it just keeps stopping and buffering and that's not good. I might try switching up my connection real quick. This could be interesting, okay. We'll just let it go maybe and we'll see what happens. I'll upload this again if I need to, I promise. We'll get this all up there somehow. Uh, but yeah, this is the Great Adventure Study Bible. Let's see what it all has in it. Oh, it's got everything in here. It's got the name and you can mark in all of your sacraments. That's cool. Great Adventure Study Bible. Oh, it's got all the introductions to like the normals. It tells you all the books of the Bible. I know the connection kind of is terrible, isn't it? Oh goodness, this isn't good. Well, I have one more thing I can try to fix the connection, but let's see if it'll work. Let me do some technology things, people. I'll be right there. Let's go this way. Personal hotspot. Connect to that one. My internet connection is like really wonky. Is it still working? I hope I'm still live. My internet connection is so weird at the moment. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Is it still working? Okay. Let's see if I can. Okay. The internet connection is really weird in this apartment today and I'm not entirely sure why my internet connection is so weird. Let's see if that works. It is being really wonky today. I don't like it that my internet connection doesn't like me because I don't know what else to do to fix it. So, let's see. It keeps saying I'm going offline and I don't mean to be. See if this is working. I should still be streaming, I hope. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry this isn't working very well. My internet has been a bit ridiculous as I've shared. Let's just blame the devil, how does that go? We're good with that, right? Okay, come on, internet, work. Come on, internet, work. Come on, internet. Okay, let's see if this works now. Okay. Is it working? Okay, come on. My internet connection can be so wonky sometimes. I'm very sorry, people. Let's see if this is working. Okay, it says I'm streaming but not streaming. Okay, I should be back. Let's see if this is working. Okay, am I back and is it working better? I hope so. I'm so sorry if we were having some issues. It's been a bit of a internet day. Okay, I think my internet's working better. We'll see. Hopefully, right? Hopefully my internet's working better. Okay, let's let it load again. 
So sorry, everybody. And I'm here. I was so excited to show you what came in the mail. So. Okay. I don't know if this is going to put it together as one video or not or whatever, but this is the video. Hello. So is it working now? I hope the internet thing is working now because I just did the only thing I knew how to do, which was try to fix it. Um, so yeah, this is what came in the mail and like I was really excited when I opened up my, my PO box and I had this box in the mail. Let me show you again. I just opened it, but it was this beautiful box from Ascension Press and I was so excited to open it up and I'm just showing it to you now for the first time and we will do a better review type of this later. I'm not quite, uh, I just opened it. So yeah, it's the Great Adventure Bible. So this is what it looks like and it's so pretty. And it's got all the colors for each book of the Bible to correspond to the Bible timeline. And it's beautiful. And I hope my internet connection is working better now, everybody. I'm so sorry for the technical difficulties. Apparently I shouldn't try a new webcam on a live stream. It didn't like it. <laughs> so I go through this, I'm, oh gosh, it's got like little articles at the beginning. That's what I was kind of saying before. So let's see what we've got here. So it lists all the books of the Bible. It gives you like a general introduction. That's really nice. And oh, then it does the books of the Bible in alphabetical order. So in case you're looking for something and you're not sure where it is. Index of articles, charts, maps, and key events. That's pretty cool. So it's got a big long list, one, two, three, four, five, five pages of events that are like telling you things to do in here. And then there's the introduction to it by Jeff Cavins and the foreword to it. Oh my goodness. This is like gonna become my new favorite Bible probably because I like the way it feels when you hold it. I will do a much better review once I've had a chance to actually look at it some more, but Right now, it's just looking at it for the first time. Okay, and so this is like the Bible timeline. If you've ever done the Bible timeline study, this is kind of the quick version where it's just telling you this is the timeline. The key narrative books are the ones you would go if you want to read the whole story of salvation. And then there's everything else is the supplemental books. So that's awesome. And then it gives you a Bible timeline reading plan. If you want to read the um, story in three months, the narrative books in three months, it tells you which books to read, starting with Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Joshua, Judges, 1 Samuel, 2 Samuel, 1 Kings, 2 Kings, Ezra, Nehemiah, 1 Maccabees, Luke, and then Acts. So that's, oh my goodness. Yeah, this just feels like such a perfect book already. I'm just like going to flip through it and see what I can just see quick off the top of, off the top of it. Let's see. Okay, when you get to a new section, like the Maccabean Revolt is one of the timeline sections in the Bible timeline, and it, it gives you it, where it is on the timeline, tells you the important peoples, where they are, um, and then it gives you a summary and a little narrative introduction to it. The narrative introduction is like four pages, five pages, and then it goes into the book and has these key events that are the important part, points in the Bible timeline. That's really awesome. I can't wait to get more chance to look at this even more. Like I said, I was just unboxing it, like I got it at the mailbox and I was so excited that I knew I had to share it with all of you. So sorry for all the technical difficulties at the beginning of getting this to work, but it's so cool. Okay, let's see what else do we have in here? Anything fun? Ooh, I really do like the Bible timeline st study and everything. I've never actually gone through the entire study with, as, with people. I've read all of the things on my own and done like some of the workbook stuff on my own, but I've never seen all the videos that go with it because there was never a study close enough to me. Oh, that's cool. Like it gives you like the little like diagrams and stuff as you get in it. Yeah, there will be a full review at some point. Yeah, and then it tells, shows you on the timeline, which is all the different colors, and it has the one that it's at is a little bit bigger so you know how far in you are through the Bible timeline. That's really awesome. I just, it just feels great. And there's like lots of space around the text. Like normally in some Bibles, they get, the text is a little bit smaller or there's not really much of a margin. This one, at least there's a little margin. It's not very big, but there is a margin. And there's also like the text is readable. 
which is very important in a Bible, especially when I read. Sometimes I like to read as I'm getting ready for bed or stuff something and I don't always have my glasses on. So this text is big, is big enough that I could theoretically read it without my glasses if I had it real close to my face, but not something I intend to do. But it's so pretty just to go through it and... Ooh, I love it already. It's got a lot of... Ooh, there's fun stuff at the back too. I didn't know much about this Bible when I was, it was offered to me as a review copy, which is why I'm sharing it with all of you as I'm unboxing it. Sorry, I'm just gonna move around a little bit. And I didn't know a whole lot about it, but I knew that I wanted a copy and I was thinking about purchasing it when I was offered the opportunity to review it. And that's wonderful, because then I get to share it with all of you for sure. So they have maps of salvation history here in the back. So the journey of Abraham, and it's, just, it's like a really nice, pretty, um, thicker paper than Bible paper, like glossy picture paper. And then it shows Exodus, desert wanderings. Oh, the tribal allotment of Israel. That's always interesting to look at because when you think about the tribal allotment is always fun. So let's see. This is just a really cool, and then it shows, oh, the United Kingdom under Solomon, the divided kingdom. The empires when the Babylon, Assyrian Babylon came in. The Roman Empire, the Greek Empire. Oh, that's really cool. So it shows a map of Jerusalem at the time of Jesus. And it's like super detailed little map here. I mean, it doesn't look super detailed, but it lists, it shows you where the temple is, where the praetorium is, the judgment gate, Golgotha, Christ's tomb, the upper room, Caiaphas's house, the pool of Siloam, the potter's field. The, oh my gosh, that's just that's beautiful. It shows you where Bethsaida is, Gethsemane. I really am enjoying this so far. Like just even just looking at it. Paul's, oh, it shows Paul's missions, missionary journeys of Paul. One, two, three, and then his journey to Rome. And then the important cities of the New Testament. Oh, that could be real helpful when you're um, thinking of these. So it shows you, it has two different colors. One for the churches that... Um, the churches of the book of Revelation was written to and the churches to which St. Paul wrote letters that are color-coded in here a little. That's really cool when you're trying to figure out where you're going and where things are on the maps and oh that's really cool. It looks really awesome so yeah I will be doing a full review of this. It might take a little bit because I'm just starting to look at it for the first time now. I'm just unboxing it. Um, Oh, hello, Maraki. Yes, I know you missed the beginning. That's okay. The beginning, I had some technical difficulties. I um, bought a new webcam and I was trying to, um, it's a higher quality than the one on my computer. And I was trying to make it work and my internet didn't like it. So there was a bit of a iffy beginning to this video. I hope it all uploads okay. So yeah, this is just the unboxing. Like I went to the post office today and I expected one package and I got two. And this was my second package and it's just, it's really beautiful and it feels, it feels right. I don't know how to explain it. Um, yeah, Crunchy Catholics, you get it. You know that the way it feels is so important and this book just feels so much, it feels like it has weight, like it's important, it's got the right texture to it almost. I know it's really hard to explain but it just is great. Um, Alan, yeah, most interesting detailed Bible you've seen so far. Yeah, it's a really detailed one. I. I really love this embossing on the front, like the little, kind of like a little compass thing. It's really cute. Cute too. Sarah, I can't wait for my full review and neither can I. It's going to be great. I am i don't know how I'm going to do it yet, when it's going to be, but it's going to be awesome because this is really cool. I do have a link to this in the description. Um, yeah, it's a really nice Bible. It's a nice one to add to that wonderful um, video that I did it, like way in the beginning of my channel on the Find a Bible, like my most wa watched one. It's Oh gosh, I'm just excited to actually get into it when I start going through it. I think I'm going to have to read the narrative again because it's been a long time since I've read the narrative in order, the way the Bible timeline suggests it. I've read, I don't always read the narrative in order, let's just be honest. We often read with the liturgical year and that's not the narrative in order. So it gives us that three month reading plan at the beginning. Where was it? Oh, right here. The three month reading plan. I don't know if it's not going to really focus, but you get an idea that it shows you what to read each of the three months to read the narrative books of the Bible timeline, and I might have to do that again, because like I said, it's been a long time since I've read the narrative in order. It does smell right. I know it sounds funny, but 
Yeah, Samaraki, it, it does smell right. It's like, it just, it just is like great. And I really love that there's two of these wonderful ribbon markers because um, my other Ignatius Press Bibles also have two ribbon markers. And I like having two because I'm usually have one where the, um, what am I saying? One where the, da -da. one, okay. I'm losing my train of thought and I'm so sorry. I usually have one with a lectionary reading, so that's the word I was looking for. I usually have one that kind of follows the gospels for the lectionary and the other one is wherever I am reading for spiritual reading. So I think I'm gonna slowly switch over and start using this Bible and I hope to do a full big reveal on, like big review on it in a month or two after I've been using it regularly for a while so that I know um, a little bit more about it and I can really share more with you all about it because it's just a beautiful Bible. It's I love the blue cover too. It reminds me very much of the blue covers of the Ignatius um, study, the Ignatius Catholic RSV Bible that is the New Testament in Psalms has this kind of a color for the cover and their full Bible has a red cover, but this one is just beautiful. Real books are lovely sometimes. It's I have a lot of Bible editions digitally as well, but the real ones are just so much more real. I don't know if it doesn't make sense, but I like my books and so I'm really, really excited to get this one and share it with all of you. There will be a full review coming, so please let me know if you have any questions about it you'd like me to address in that review because there's so much I could talk about about this Bible. I am really just loving it right now, so I can't wait to get into it some more. I'm glad you all joined me for this unboxing and I'm so sorry about all of the um, really crazy technical issues at the beginning. Uh, Johanna, where did I find this Bible? The link is in the description. I was sent a review copy by Ascension Press. That's where it is right now. They just finished their pre-orders for it and it's shipped out this past week, I believe, to everybody who had pre-ordered it. And I think there's there's still copies available and it's really just a lovely Bible. I am, it's, I can see this is one that becomes my go-to Bible because it has so many resources in it. It's not just the Bible and footnotes. It's Bible footnotes and then like the Bible timeline that helps you read the Bible. So I am very excited to get into this book. So if you're gonna be waiting for my review, you might wanna make sure you're subscribed so that you can get my full review when it comes out. I Like I said, it'll probably be a month or two because I want to really get into this Bible and get to know it some more. And the text is just very readable. I can see that Louisa just asked that in here. Let me um, see if I can get it to focus a little bit on this. So I will give you, this is my phone for size reference. I have a, a just a regular iPhone, but my phone fits in one of the columns. So then you've got text. Oops, I'm trying to make it work. It's not very, it's not really as small as it could be. I have novels that have smaller text than this one. This one looks readable. Um, it's big enough that I can read it from holding it out to like here, I can read it. Um, without my glasses, I would need it like to here because my vision is kind of terrible. But with my glasses on, I can hold it out and I can even read it at arm's length. I can start reading, Jeroboam had set an ambush around to come to the troops from behind. So the text is a pretty decent size. I think they have on, on Ascension Press's website with this Bible is they tell you what the font size of the text is. I'm not entirely sure what the font size is, but it is bigger than no most normal Bibles. Let me... I have a, my other Bible is sitting over on the shelf over here. I'm going to grab my other Bible and I'll see if I can hear it. Okay. So, okay. I just wanted to grab the other Bible. Okay. So, oh, for t font size comparison, this is my Ignatius um, Catholic Bible. This is the Revised Standard Version 2nd Catholic Edition, which is the exact same translation as the... Um, uh, this one, the, the Great Adventure Bible, is also the Revised Standard Version, Second Catholic Edition, so they're the same translation here. Let's do some size stuff. They are the same height. The one is quite a bit thicker, though. You can see that. The Great Adventure Bible is quite a bit thicker than the Ignatius Press Bible, but they are, all, they are the same size this direction as well. I have tabs on this one. This one, um, if I put tabs on this one, I would get the Great Adventure Bible tabs because I would like it to be color-coded. The right way they do have great adventure bible tabs today let's see i'm going to open it up to the same spot so we can compare the same thing let's go into esther because we all know how much i love the book of esther so we'll pick up esther chapter four ish okay 
So, Esther. This is in the Ignatius Bible. We're going to put it over here. I'm going to try to keep these the same distance from the webcam, just so we can do a quick text comparison here. Um, as you can see, the Great Adventure one is quite a bit larger. Okay, here we go. Woo I know this isn't really very easy to see, but woo, try not to drop Bibles here. But they're the same distance from the camera, and the Great Adventure one is a larger font size than this, than the Ignatius Ignatius Bible. It's not that much larger, but it is more readable, I want to say. It's a little bit easier to see. So I hope that's helpful. Um, I can do some more side-by-side -side stuff when I do my full review. I'll be able to um, take better footage because I'll pre-edit that one instead of just doing um, a live stream for it. But I just wanted to show it to all of you because I am so excited about this Bible. And this is the one that I was saying that this is the red cover and their New Testament in Psalms is more of the blue cover, but their red one here from the Ignatius one is more of a, I don't know how to describe it, it's more of a like um, slippery type leather. This is more of a soft, supple type leather. So it's, it's a really lovely book. I can't wait to get into it and start using it some more and be able to tell you all even more about it. So yes, please leave some questions. If you have questions, I can go more into them on my full review. I can't wait to film that video. It'll probably be in about a month or two because I want to get into the Bible and really use it a bit more before I do a full review on it. So yeah, please make sure you're subscribed and let me know in the comments if there's any questions you would like me to answer in my full review and I will be sure to get to them. Thank you so much for joining me with this live stream and putting up with my technical issues in the front. I will see you all next time. Sometime this week I should have a video out because I am getting over my head cold, which is always a plus. See you then. God bless.